Walk around a few targets here at Kibworth. We're going to explain the methods, show you the targets, and then as we change angle, obviously, we might have to change our method and adapt to, to the different presentations. So the first target we're going to shoot here is Seabird, which is a, a right to left incoming target. Here she comes. Pull! So what I'm looking to do with that target is really control my hand speed. So it does not need an awful lot of lead. So I want to just drop it behind the target and just slowly swing through with a controlled move. So let's see how it goes. Pull! Okay, so the next target we'll have a look at is A-Bird. So A is from our left, going away from us, left to right, here he comes. Pull! So due to the angle, um, I've got a couple of options. I could probably control a, a pull away shot, but I would, I would rather just to hold and control it just behind the target and then work through through the line of the target from back to the front. Um, it's not gonna need an awful lot of lead. So again, it's just a nice controlled shot. See how it goes. Pull! This target we're gonna be shooting is D. D's a midi, which is right to left. Um, I'm being conscious here of, of not overleading the target, so it's going to be a very controlled move. Again, I'm going to be approaching from through the back of the target and then just working onto the front edge and taking the shot. So let's have a look at one. Pull! The next target we're shooting is F. F is a till going away off our right shoulder. I'm going to be very conscious, as with all the targets that I'm shooting, to get my hold point right, my visual pickup, and my kill point, and make sure that I've got to my lead at my kill point. So what I'm going to be looking to do is do a 50% hold on the target. Eyes are going to be back towards the trap. I'm going to watch the target through the gun, and then we're going to make a nice smooth up, move up to the target and take the shot. Let's have a look at one. Pull! Right, so as you can see, we've changed angle now. So this changes the presentations and probably the methods that we're going to be adopting. So the first target we're looking at is B, which is a left to right batu. Now, the first thing that goes through your mind is a batu, so it's probably going to need a third extra lead than what you give a standard clay. It's at 90 degrees to us, so there's no quarter on it. So we need to make sure that we get a good hold and we are going to be working off, we're going to be shooting a pull away method and working off to a lead. So let's have a look at one. Pull. Okay, so the way I'm going to approach this batu, I'm going to pick my 50% gun hold, I'm going to visually separate my eyes back to my visual pickup, and I'm going to make sure I'm going to have a good connection, and then I'm going to pull away and commit to my kill point to get my lead on at my kill point. So the next target we're going to be shooting is a right to left rabbit. Now it's got a fair degree of quarter on it and the way I like to shoot rabbits is again I'm going to pick that 50% hole point. I'm still going to separate my eyes back but what I'm going to do is make sure I don't walk my hands when I visually first see the target. I want to allow it past the gun and then I like to then work in from the back through into the center of the clay and take the shot with the gun movement. So let's have a look at one. Pull! Okay, the next target is F. Now, from this position, it's a really tricky target. It's a fair way out. Again, quartering up away from us. So let's have a look at one. Pull. No bird. And again. Pull. So, with that target, my primary concern is that line. I really want to make sure that I'm on that line. And again, it's just a case of getting the hold right. The target's going to come through the gun, and then I'm going to make that move into the target and take the shot without hesitation. Whoa! 
Okay, the next target we'll be shooting is C, which is a right to left crossing target. It doesn't need a lot of lead. It's got relatively low uh, spring on it. So what I want to do is drop in behind the target, control the target, and just execute a very controlled swing through move on it. Let's have a look at it. Oh! Next target is A. A is now a left to right full on crosser. It's going to need a lot more energy. So I'm going to execute a, a pull away move on it, but I've got to make sure that I'm committed to the kill point and I've got my lead on at my kill point. There's no good riding this target out. Let's have a look at it. Pull! Change position again now. So now the first target we're shooting is B, which is the left to right bet two. It's now slightly coming into us, so I'm just going to shoot this with a nice controlled pull away. So let's have a look at the target. Pull! Pull! Right, next target is C, which is from our right to left, whereas before it was at 90 degrees to us we've now got a bit of angle it. So again, we're going to be shooting a nice controlled swing through move on Seabird. So let's have a look at one. Pull! Pull! Next target is E, which is a, a quartering away edge on. Really tricky rabbit. What I'm very conscious of here is again controlling my hand speed. I want to make sure that I'm not moving or walking my hands. I'm going to allow the target to pass the gun, pass my whole point, and I'm just going to make a move into the back of the target and take the shot. Let's have a look at one. Pull! Final target this layout is D bird, which is a going away, really tricky, quite a lot of spring on it, uh, quartering away midi. The technique that I personally would shoot this target, I would get my hold point again around about 50% from my kill point, but I'm literally going to be cutting into the line or slicing into the line of this target. It's not a technique that a lot of people use, but I find in this sort of a target, it really helps me uh, to, to get on that target and there's no hesitation at all. Let's have a look at one. Pull! So I hope you guys found that interesting and informative. It's amazing the way the angle changes on the presentations. We need to adapt our technique, the whole point, the ultimate change. So yes, it's, uh, it's just an insight into uh, a few targets and as we move around the angles, the way we're going to make those changes. And Hattie, um, Giles has shot before, but he hasn't shot for many, many years. So we've probably been working a lot on, on structure and basics and fundamentals. Hattie had a, has a couple of lessons already. And she's doing really well, so uh, we'll see how it goes and uh, obviously put a segment together and catch up at the end. Okay, Giles, so the first target is right to left standard. Bang. Okay. The second target is coming standard teal. That was a no bird. Let's go again. Okay. So what you'll be looking at is the kill point on that first target. Yeah, so we're going to be halfway back to that gun hold and visually separate back to the trap. So it's going to be a nice connection, move off the front edge, then transition to your gun hold for the second target, not too low, just get the gun hold up, put the target come in over the barrel and just place that shot just underneath the target. Were you ready on your call? Pull! Oh. Okay, 
Okay, any changes we can make to that? Probably on that. One so, side yeah. to the left, yeah? There's a nice control that will speak to your pull away. Four. Losing that connection. So on that first time, we need to spend a little bit of time on it. We've got plenty of time. It's not a rush shot, so we need to be connected with it and just smoothly move off to your lead. You're just rushing it. Okay? So good point about there. Separate your eyes back. Oh. Now connect and rotate to your lead. Here comes the second time. Let me get done. Beautiful. Well done. And again, please. Okay, so obviously it's a safe gun, so it's proven empty. Always remember, Hetty, when you hold the gun, finger off the trigger onto the onto the wood until we're ready to call for the bird. Okay, I will be placing the gun in the shoulder for you. So make sure that face forward onto the comb, front hand, and get that weight transfer over your front foot, so it's nose over toes, so you've got that sensation. Yeah. Okay, you feel comfortable? Yeah. All right, looking good. Let's go and shoot a couple. There you go, there's the hold, eyes back. Pull. Excellent, and again, get that weight forward. Pull. That weight distribution, so you watch into the gun, and it's just under it. Beautiful. And again, there she comes. Lovely. Well done, Etty. Right, we noticed in the last stand that there was an incoming crow, and Hattie was struggling with the high dominance paw, which is suited consistently at the side of that. So, what we are now going to do is we're going to remove the factory bead and we're going to fit an ID rail, high dominance rail, which will alleviate any draw from the non shouldered eye. Okay, so if we just remove that factory bead, which luckily on this Beretta should come out quite carefully. Put that up in a sec. And we carefully add that rail. Just have a quick check of that. So, Hetty, what so you're we've fitted the, the rail, so what we're now going to have, just have a look at that. So, obviously, it's a safe gun, there's no cartridges in there, so if we just mount that gun, finger on wood, lovely, weight forward. So, if you mount it onto that point, you'll have a clear relationship with that bead, okay? Yeah. If you now closed your right eye, that bead would disappear. Yeah. All right, so open both eyes up again, so basically, you know, it's only your shouldered eye that has now got a relationship with the, the gun and the bead. Yeah. All right, so that should alleviate any eye dominance issues. Lovely. Right, so we've now got that rail fitted. And let's see if it makes a difference. So we're now shooting both eyes open for the first time. So we're just going to place that shot underneath this target. Call when you're ready. Stunning. And again, there she Pull. comes. Absolutely lovely. Well shot, Eddie. So that's a lot better with that rail fitted for you. Yeah, and that was with both eyes open. For the first time? Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> right to left standard. And then on report, a left to right batter. Let's have a look at them. On your call. Pull. Okay. And a left to right batter. No bird. And again. Okay, now the wind's holding it out. That's actually not even presenting. So, that means you just hold it there. That's a bit slightly. So, shoot them your normal method. We've got to identify the kill points on these two targets. So for the first target, you tell me where you see it the clearest and the most defined. Call me ready. Call. Target, it's got a bit of cool to it, so 
moment. If you hit that hole, point and allow the target to meet the gun, and then I want you to close it down and soon as you get to the front edge, to take the shot. Transition to your second hole, point for the bat two. But remember, we need to give it an extra third lead. Hole. Right, excellent execution of the first shot. Exactly what I asked you to do. What in the second shot? We lost connection with the target. We yeah. started in front, we kept in front, maintained lead it, and we lost it. So we need to get that hole point and allow the target to get to the gun before we then make that move off the target. Yeah, so we need to spend a little bit of time with it so we've got it speed in line and then we can rotate off to that lead. Okay, so when you're ready, pull. No bird, here he comes. Beautiful execution. So Natty, this first target is a going away standard. So on your call. Pull. Okay, so all we're going to do is pick a hole point, allow it to, it's going to appear above the gun and we're just going to insert straight into the back of that target. The second target is an incoming standard. On your call. Pull. Here it comes. And that's the one where we're just going to place that little gap underneath it. Yeah. Okay? Superb. So we'll shoot A, then B on report. Okay, the start's going to wait forward, it's going to be about there. Pull when you're ready. Pull! Lovely, there comes the incomer. Okay, we just got to take that incomer a little bit early. Okay. So the target is still rising and we've got a relatively dead gun. So in terms of movement, so all we want to do is just before it starts to peak is place that shot just fractionally underneath. Let's do that again. And don't forget in the second shot to keep the weight onto your front foot. Pull. Comes. Lovely, well shot. Excellent. Go in a way standard on report and incomer. So call when you're ready. Pull. And the second target, pull. Okay, so this is all about getting that hole point right for that first target. What we don't want is a hole point that's too low. That means that we're cutting through the target. We want to get the right height. So it's literally going to pop above the gun. We're going to shoot literally straight to the back of the target. Then we've got to be patient. We've got to set our eyes back. Wait for that second target to come into the gun, and then all we do is get in that connection, and we just fractionally just move it off the bottom edge of it. Where do you think you were? I went over the top. Okay, so it's a real controlled move, yeah? So we don't want an aggressive move. We are literally inserting the barrels straight into the back of the target, okay. and then be patient. When your eyes go back to the second target, don't allow the barrels to follow the eyes. So keep your gun hold, get the eyes back, and then you're just going to watch it into the gun and be nice and patient with that shot placement. Okay. So, hold point's going to be about there. Yeah. Okay. Pull! Yes. Now be patient, no good connection. Lovely, much better. So well, the first well. target is the standard going away, so on your pull. Pull! Okay. And then the second target comes in left to right into us. We're just going to place that shot bottom right hand side of that clay. So if you imagine a clock face, we're going to be favoring around about the five o'clock position. Finger of the wood. Excellent. Get your weight forward. A lot about there. Cool when you're ready. Pull. Beautiful. Now be patient. Wait for it to come into you. Lovely. Well shot. Let's do that again. Don't forget after the first shot to make sure that weight is still on that front foot. Okay. okay. Cool when you're ready. Pull. No bird. Pull. And again. Pull. Beautiful. Here it comes. Okay, we just lost connection with that clay, yeah. right? So you didn't allow oh, it to get up. to the barrel before we then just went and worked off slightly to our lead. So we're just going to be a little bit more patient with the second one and allow it to come into the gun. 
right? Don't forget your weight. Pull. Oh, bird. And again. Pull. There she comes. Well shot. Excellent. Well done. Okay, Hattie, so the first target is a left to right standard. So this is a crossing target from a left to right. Call when you're ready. Call. Okay, so we're looking at a kill point of roughly, roughly about there. So, so if you're above that, there's the corner of that bush. Okay. okay. Gun hole's going to be halfway back. We're then going to separate our eyes back to our visual pickup. It's going to come into the gun. We're going to connect it and we're going to work off to our th about three clays lead in front. So okay. you can imagine three imaginary clays. Okay. Don't forget it's important that you get your, your feet set to your kill point and you wind back to your gun hold and then separate your eyes back. So okay. that allows the gun to keep moving. Nice and freely. Think on the wood. Lovely. So the gun hold's going to be about, yeah. Oh, it's back to a visual pickup. So we're going to make a connection and then you're going to rotate off to that sweet place. The gun's going to be about there, eyes back. Okay, pull. Beautiful shot, and again. Pull. It's into the gun, connect, give you three plays. Oh, beautiful, great shooting, that team. Excellent. Okay, so we've ascertained our kill point. We get our feet set to our kill point. We're going to wind back to our gun hold. Don't forget your balance and your weight forward. Eyes back to your visual pickup. We're going to get that connection and then I want you to rotate off that three play lead that we need. Call when you're ready. Pull. And again. Pull. Watch it into the gun and then we've got to move away. Okay, we're just missing our kill point. So what's happening is, so what we can't do, so if, I'm, so if our kill point is over the top of this hill, okay? Yeah. The gun holds your eyes back. What we can't do is, is allow the clay to get past our kill point before we then start to make our move and get the lead on. We need to get to the three clays in front that you need to see. There's imaginary three clays by that point. Okay. So basically our kill point is bang there, okay? When you leave it a little bit later, it's lose energy and drop in. So we're going to, the mess is more than likely going to be over the front okay. and over the top. And, okay? Yeah. So we just need to make sure that we've had our connection, we've moved off to our three play lead at that point. So we've got to commit to that kill point. The first two pairs were absolutely stunning. So let's run the play list. Don't forget, set your feet to your kill point. Wait forward. Get your gun hold about there. Eyes back. Pull. So connect and get your three clays. Beautiful, ideal. And again, pull. Connect, get your three clays. Well done, Hattie. Well shot. Okay, second target is a standard teal. So let's have a look on your call. Pull. So just coming in. Okay, so it's important we just get in that space underneath that target and insert yeah. into the shot. Don't forget to get your weight forward. Gunnell's going to be about there. Pull. Lovely shot. Are you there? Pull. Actually, that's excellent. You're shooting very well with that round. Well Thank done. You. Both eyes open still. Yep. Both Fantastic. Eyes open. Excellent. Well done. Okay, so the first target with trials is that left to right standard. So on your call, pull. Okay, kill point is going to be roughly over the top of the hill. Okay, so gun hold 50%, eyes back, watch it into the gun. I want you to have a good connection for a split second and then just work off to that lead nice, progressively, and smoothly. Pull! Let's get that down a fraction, right? There we go, when you call. Pull! Make that connection. Nice, and again. Same gun hold. Pull. Nice. That's the bank in front of us. Call when you're ready. Pull. Kill point to be there, just before she peeks. Yeah, just place that shot. 
with precision just underneath that top. Excellent. Pull. Beautiful. And again. Pull. The what we can't what we can't do is allow it to peak and then take the yeah. shot because it's already dropping. Okay? okay. So just before it reaches that peak. Oh. Again, get that little space underneath it. I want to see a quarter inch underneath it. Oh. The go. Come on. From the left a bit. Yes, you are. Just the breeze is picked up, it's just pushing that target over slightly now, but you've got to accommodate for that. So really, you want to be bottom right hand edge. Pull! Again. Pull! Over the top, consistently over the top. Right, so what we're going to do on this pair, I'm going to tap your shoulder when I want you to take the shot. Okay. And when I tap your shoulder, I want you to place the gun that far underneath the, the target and take the shot. Pull. Nice, and again. Pull. Yeah, uh, mission period. Yeah. Excellent. Now a couple on yours for yourself. Pull. <laughs> Over the top. I'll tap you again. Can hold up. Pull. Complete control of that. Just try and get your weight more into that gun as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so get that weight onto that front foot, nose over toes. So this is all about precision. So if you're placing that shot into it. Pull. You're not shooting that gap underneath. Going through the target. Go not higher. Higher there. Pull. Now place it under the target. Here we go. So the issue we're having the two lower gun holes is we as the target's transitioning slowing down, we coming up through it and you're missing over the top. Yeah? Well done. Then left to right standard first, then on report that incomer. Pull. Okay, over the top of that incomer. Also, on that left to right crosser, what where did you start that gun in relation to that target? I know you broke it, yeah. but it wasn't the correct method. It's not going to be a consistent method because you started in front and you stayed in front maintained. and you maintained leaders. So what I want to do is just wait for more of a connection. Let it come into the gun before we make our move. Yeah. Then you're going to connect and move with it just for a fraction before you then peel it off and you just go and rotate off to your lead. Okay? So the gun is going to be about there. Eyes back. Pull. Make your connection. Now move. Beautiful. Now get the gun up. Up. Now this one comes. We're going to place it underneath. Yes. Well shot. Well shot. Not a magnum. Hot looking prosecco. Right there. Lovely. Pull. Again. Pull. 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 Right, so actually we're going to be shooting this right to left crosser the fit has lowered. So it's coming off the seabird trap and it's going to be crossing us, okay? So we need to establish those points where our kill point is, where our gun hole is going to be, and obviously our visual pickup is going to be not far from our trap as we get to see the trap on this occasion. So call when you're ready. Call. Oh. The kill point's going to be there, okay? Yeah. If we leave it later, it's dropping and curling, which means it's losing, it's losing a lot of energy. We are likely to miss it in front and over the top. So we need to make sure that we've got to our specified lead by that point. Okay? So we'll set up the lead to the kill point. So we're going to have the gun hold around about there. Okay? Eyes back to the trap, and don't forget we need to work to that lead. Pull. Wait forward, yes, she comes, connect and go. And again. Pull. Wait for it to get into the gun, now go. 
Beautiful. Well shot. Well done. foot further forward a bit so that's so we can get that weight and get really into the gun so don't forget we need to get to our lead at our kill point so we need to commit pull and we're now going to connect and go beautiful excellent shot and again pull we're going to connect and go good girl brilliant shooting Hattie thank you the left to right crosser like just that so cool when you're ready but bear in mind we need to identify our kill point Gun hold and then a visual pickup. Call when you're ready. Pull. Okay. Hey, Kill point for you. What, roughly just past yeah. that stake? Yeah. Yep, so gun hold halfway, eyes back. What I want you to do is you've got to have that connection. So allow that connection. It might be fairly deep, but at least wait for the tape to come into the gun to connect and then work off the lead and work tape. Set to your kill point. And further across, slightly further over, slightly more to your right. Okay, take that. Cool. Make your connection, now go. And again, we've got to move that movement up, that pace, and slow in the pace. We've got to work away from it. Cool. Beautiful, much better. Good adjustment. Couple more. Cool. Let's go. And again. Pull. Make the movement to your body. Yes, sir. The first shot, you manipulated the gun to touch mm. with the hands, and we just came off the line. Second was beautiful, mate. Be consistent. Pull. Nice. And again. Pull. So just have a quick look. Right to left. Pull. Okay, we've now got to have control. Yeah, so it hasn't got an awful lot of power. With the way you move the gun and your power, we need to control it and rein it in. So we really want to just have a small controlled swing through. So we're going to have a hold point. It's going to come past the gun. We're just going to have a small controlled swing through just to the front of the target. Nice and smooth. Remember your core movement. Pull. Again, then I'll be a little bit higher, back a little bit further. Oh, wait, wait, wait now. That's sir. I know you killed both targets, but that second economy of movement on that second target was a lot better because you just allowed it to beat you a fraction before you then made that move. Control that we just implemented. So you've got to be patient. Oh, so you wait, you wait now. Lovely, and again. Oh. Wait, wait now. Much better. Okay, let's put the two shots together. Because that A bird is going to need a more aggressive movement. So we're going to shoot a nice pull away. Then we're going to come back to the hold, gun hold. Visually, eyes separate back from the scene. Don't be lazy and leave your eyes over the gun. Make sure they separate back. Now I pass the gun and just make a smooth move. You just drop move. Oh. Wait, wait. Beautiful. Okay, so we shoot that left to right by two drills. So don't forget that it needs a bit more lead than a standard, so it needs another third. So we've got to work on that movement away from this target. So once we've got that connection. So we shoot on report. Pull. Lovely. Nice. We've got to have that connection. All right, so we want to get away of, of that big maintained lead where you're losing connection with the target. So allow it, watch your hole point into the gun, have the connection, work tape off your lead nice and smoothly for me. On your call. Back oh. a bit, back a bit. Gun hold further towards the trap, actually, there we go. Call. Cool. Cool. Stunning, and again. Call. Cool. Right, we were the Giles and Hattie, just finished our lesson today. And uh, well, guys, what do you think of it? Giles, how do you get on? Um, yeah, obviously I've got a few uh, old habits. Um, yeah. The shaft is trying to correct. And I think towards the end of the lesson, um, you know, I started to make quite a few improvements. Um, uh, absolutely. A few, a few 
few more lessons and uh, hopefully get out to the, the old average. You know? Yeah, sure. I mean, you've not really had any structure to your shoot in terms of thinking about kill points, break points, eye placement, and the way that you move the gun, have you? So it's, it's been quite a quite a big lesson for you. Yeah, big learning curve. Oh, great. And Hattie, you done very well today. Yeah, I um, think this lesson I've definitely improved. I think what was helpful for me is um, putting the rail on the end of the gun because then it meant that I could shoot with both eyes open, which I've never done before. Um, and it made it a lot clearer for me. Um, a lot more consistent so I was getting kills after kills rather than a kill and then a miss and then a kill and then I think it was a lot more consistent and it really helped me see yeah, whole. no, absolutely. I mean, not only were you killing them, but you're killing them in the same place consistently, you know, and that's exactly what we're after. So, yeah, well done, guys, and uh, see you soon.